Welcome, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this car. You'll need small amounts of four colours of cotton or wool, a crochet hook, thread to sew the car together, a sewing needle, scissors and also a darning needle to weave in the ends. I'm going to start with the body and my main colour and work 35 chain. Now I miss my first chain and I work one single crochet into each chain to the end. For row two we work one chain and turn and we work a decrease single crochet into the first two stitches. So we go into our stitch and pick up a loop and then go into the next stitch and pick up a loop and put our yarn round and through all three stitches and that's a decrease single crochet. Now I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two and I'll work a decrease single crochet in those. So I'll work across to the last two stitches and I'll be back. At the end of the row over our last two stitches we do another decrease single crochet into the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. So 
so I'll work those and I'll meet you at the end of the row. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and we work a decreased single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. Now I've worked my two decrease single crochet at the end, then I work one chain and turn. And for row five I just work one single crochet into each stitch across. So I'll crochet the, the row and I'll be back. For row 6 we start with one chain again and turn and work a decreased single crochet over the first two stitches and then we work one single crochet in, into each stitch to the last two. And for row 7 we work one chain and a single crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll work, work row 6 and 7 Row 6, a decreased single crochet at each end, and row 7 is just one single crochet into each stitch. So I'll work those two rows and I'll come back. For row 8, we work one chain and turn and work a decreased single crochet into the first two stitches, and then one single crochet across to the last two and then we'll work a decrease single crochet into those two. So I'll complete row 8 and I'll be back. For row 9 we work one chain and turn and then we work two decrease single crochet over the next four stitches. So a decrease single crochet over the first two stitches a decrease single crochet over the next two stitches and then a single crochet into each stitch to the last four. Over the last four stitches we work two more decrease single crochet. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and then we work two more decrease single crochet over the next four stitches. And then we work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then we work one chain and turn. Now we're going to neaten the car body by working a single crochet into each stitch all the way round. I just finish into the corner here, just in there, and fasten off. So I'll work my neatening row and then I'll be back. And there's my body finished. Now I'm going to start on the wheels. 
I start with my main colour and a magic loop. Into my magic loop I work 4 chain and 13 treble. And then I pull my circle tight and slip stitch into the fourth chain. And I'll fasten that one off. Now for the contrasting colour, I can join my cotton anywhere on the circle and I start with three chain and I work one double crochet in the same spot as a chain and now I work two double crochet into each stitch around. I'm crocheting in my end. So I'll work around the wheel and I'll be back. And I join with a slip stitch into the third chain. And fasten off. Now I'll work the folded roof now. So I start with 11 chain and I work 2 treble in the 5th chain from the hook. and then one treble in the next chain. Now I work one double crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch, and then single crochet 
into each of the remaining stitches. For row two I start with one chain and then I slip stitch over the first six stitches. Next I work 5 chain and work a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Now I work a double crochet into the next stitch. half double crochet in the following stitch then another half double crochet into the slip stitches And now a single crochet down to the end. For row three, start with one chain. And then slip stitch over five stitches, and then we work six chain. And we work a dub double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. A double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then a single crochet in the next and then slip stitch to the end. At the end we're going to work three chain and a four double crochet cluster evenly over the end. and fasten off. And the cluster at the end just gives you a bit of a point to 
go on there and that's your folded roof. Now we need the two bumper bumper bars so you start with four chain miss the first chain and single crochet into each of the other three and then one chain and we work two rows of single crochet into each of the three stitches. and fasten off. And you've just got a little kind of square. I'll just stitch that in a bit when I stitch it. And I'll need two of those. For the door handle, I just work three chain. I leave ends to stitch it in and just work three chain. Now for the black under the wheels I just attach my black just so that it will fit under the wheel and work one chain and a single crochet. into each stitch That should be enough. So I'll fasten that off. For the outline for the doors, I just work chain. The front one starts just in this corner here and will go down to under the wheel. So just enough chain to fit it under the wheel. It's too many, that one will fit. for the back door. So I'll fasten that one off. And I'll make a smaller one for the front.
will be plenty. So I'll stitch and stitch these on and I'll finish off my endings and I'll come back and we'll do round the wheels and the other parts. Now I've stitched the door strips on. Next I'm going to crush around the black on the top of the wheels. I start just after the join and join my thread on. And start with one chain and a single crochet around to halfway. I'm crocheting in my end. Now that looks like halfway, so I'll fasten that one off and I'll work the other one the same. For the back of the seat, I join just in near the door, just behind the door strip and I work five chain I work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook a double crochet in the next chain and a treble in the last chain and then slip stitch into the car body. And fasten off. For the windscreen, I use grey for this part. And I join just down this side of the cast the strip. And I start with twelve chain. And this first chain and a single crochet into each of the next two chain.
and then I half double crochet into the next two chain. And double crochet into each of the next four chain. And then I treble into each chain to the end. And then I slip stitch into the body of the car, just up in there, the top. And fasten off. For the light, I make a magic loop and work three chain and I work a three double crochet cluster into the loop. Pull the loop tight and fasten off. Now I'll finish off my endings and stitch round my other wheel and I'll be back. Next I'll stitch the wheels on. The front one goes just over the door strip and the black bits just touch the bottom and the back one goes just behind the door strip. So I'll stitch those on. I'll also stitch on the door handle. Now I'll crochet on the steering wheel now. I join black about four stitches up on the windscreen. And just crochet about three chain. And then I slip stitch into the car body. a bit fiddly and then a single crochet along to the windscreen just in the bottom there and fasten off. And that's the steering wheel. 
Now I'm going to attach the folded roof. It goes just behind the seat. And the two bumpers, one at the back and one at the front, and the light. Now if you're having trouble with the placement of anything, I've got my patterns on my website. The details are in the description below. I'll just stitch these on and I'll be back. And there's the finished car. Unfortunately from next week I'll have to cut back to just doing one video a week. So I hope you can join me next Friday for another video. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.